How's it going everyone? I am back again today with a very, very exciting video. Um, I probably got the coolest plant I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. And that's including my silver leafed oak and many other things, but I, I cannot believe this. I'm literally speechless right now. All right, you ready? Check this out. That is an Echinopsis tershekii. Oh, it's a freaking monster. An actual one. The one that I got before that I thought was tershekii was actually uh, Echinopsis brigesii, which is not cold hardy whatsoever. But check this out. This is an actual Echinopsis tershekii at a very large hardy size. Um, I got this from Jen Emming. Um, he owns Forever or Destination Forever Ranch in uh, Yucca, Arizona. Really a uh, famous uh, cacti and succulents and yucca nursery. Um, really close to Lake Havasu City um, in like Zone 10B or something like that. It's one of the warmest places in Arizona. Um, and this this guy Jen Emming, he just has this incredible property with just like the most insane you know cacti and just from all over the world i mean obviously cacti are only from the americas but like he has you know euphorbias and all kinds of stuff you know madagascar ocotillos but uh i was uh talking to him on this uh he's part of this um it's i think it's called intermountain subtropicals hardy uh, cactus and subtropicals or something like that it's a facebook group and uh there was another guy in Salt Lake City who purchased one of these from him and I saw it and I asked him where he got it. So uh, I started talking to Jan and I ended up uh, being able to get this guy right here. And I'm, I'm just so, I'm, I'm speechless, speechless. So uh, this is also known as the um, Argentine Saguaro um, because it is uh, basically completely convergently evolved to be, uh, you know, look exactly like the saguaro from Arizona, Carnegia gigantea, um, and it is more cold tolerant. All right, sorry about that. I had a little interruption there. Um, but as I was saying, these guys are extremely cold hardy. Um, these two here, this is the Oreo Sirius Celsianus, or the old man of the Andes cactus. Um, these are the two of the most cold hardy columnar cacti on earth. Um, this uh, Oreo Sirius grows at 10 to 13,000 feet in the high Andes mountains. Um, it is a tad bit more hardy than the um, Trico Sirius. You can see it has these uh, really thick white hairs, which uh, basically, you know, provide frost protection and uh, heat protection for it, or sun protection more like. Um, the Trico series obviously doesn't have that, but it's still very, very hardy. Um, it is the most southerly occurring uh, columnar cactus. So it's basically, and the saguaro is the most northerly um, occurring columnar cactus. So they're basically the exact same, uh, they're in the exact same convergence. Um, they grow in very similar climates. The deserts uh, are very similar. I can't remember what the desert is. In South America that this this guy grows and I will I will add that on there on the video but uh, it's a very similar environment and actually has a lot of the same plants even though they're 6,000 uh, miles apart which is very interesting but uh I've decided I'm gonna you know make a pretty hard decision here but I am gonna move these uh, Oreo Sirius Celsianus to a different spot because I, I want to give this trico serious the the best environment or the best microclimate it can possibly have and this is the definitely the warmest part of my whole entire garden uh you know it's regular to regularly like 10 to 12 degrees warmer than the rest of my garden because of this uh, stucco wall and the south facing um get sun 
basically from in about you know 30 minutes until sundown it's uh you know early morning right now but uh i'm just so stoked about this i will be putting this here and i'll be moving these oreo series somewhere else but uh i'm gonna mound it up a tad bit but this guy is so top heavy i am a little bit worried about it uh, falling over like a lot of columnar cacti do in like arizona when people mound them up too big so I might just do a small mound. I'll definitely be planting it in uh, some sand, more sand. I mean, we already have sandy soil here, but I'm gonna be adding a ton more sand. Been using a uh, native uh, Utah sand lately um, from Red Ledges, which is like the you know the videos I've been making recently of that uh, desert area around my house. There's a lot of uh, uh, sandstone sand. I'm just going out and uh, collecting a little bit of that and using it for my plants and it's uh, been great so far. So I think I'm gonna use that for this and I will make a video when I get this guy in the ground. And I appreciate you guys watching so much. Um, have a good day.